So following on from the previous video, let's say um, I've got a graph where I've got log x against log y, and I've got two points on the line, and I want to write um, this in the form of y equals a x to the n. So I need to work out what the value of a and what the value of n would be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write or find the equation of this line. So the first thing I really want to do is find the gradient of the line m. So m is going to be the difference in the y coordinates, so 12 take away 4, and divide that by the difference in the x coordinates, 10 take away 0. So I've got 8 divided by 10, so 0 0.8. So that would be the gradient of the line. I could also say that the value of the y-intercept um, will be 4. So that means that log y, I'll write it over here, that means we've got log y is equal to uh, 0.8 log x plus 4. Okay, this is now in the format of y equals mx plus c. So now I can use my logarithmic knowledge to manipulate this into um, this format here, into this exponential notation. So, the first thing that I want to do is I want to say to myself, right, well, let's leave the left hand side alone. The 0.8 log x, the 0.8 can come up to uh, the power of the x, so log of x to the 0.8. Now the 4, what can I write that as? Well, 4 is 4 times 1, and 1 is log base 10 of 10. So... For future knowledge, if you're unsure of where that's come from, log of base a of a is 1, because a to the power of 1 is a. So that means that log base 10 of 10 is 1. So log of 10 is just 1, because I'm working log base 10. Now that 4 can be brought up to the power there, so that's log y is equal to log of x to the 0 0.8, plus, if the 4 comes to the power, then I've got log of 10 to the 4, which is log of 10,000. These two logarithms can now be combined, and I can say to myself, right, that's log of y of log of x to the 0 0.8 times 10,000. So log of 10,000 x to the 0 0.8. And now, because I've got log of one base is equal to log of the same base as something else, the two logarithms can be taken away. I can exponentiate both sides. So y is equal to 10,000x to the 0 0.8. So there, therefore, this is what I wanted. The a value is the 10,000, and the n is 0 0.8. Now I've written it in the format that we wanted. So this is how we can reverse engineer our log laws to get it into the exponential form that I required.